Welcome everybody to the Monday, June 5th meeting of the Conway Select Board. It's also, it's a joint meeting. The Conway Select Board, Conway Finance Committee, who is, does not have a quorum yet, in the Conway Capital Improvements meeting, as well as a rare, maybe even never before. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> the near um, capacity yeah, is moderator. Yes. And, and actually, I looked, I didn't, I didn't, well, let me just say, we call the meeting to order. Um, but, and I looked, and I didn't see any, just in my recollection, we've never invited the moderator to a meeting before. And we've never had this type of discussion with the, with the moderator. Before. I'm glad you did. And, and I, and I like to have it. And I, and I like, I like it to be called, the, the lessons learned thing is, because I was calling it the autopsy. And I think the, the, the lessons learned is probably a more neutral and better, more professional term. So we should, we should just go with that. Um, <laughs> the, um, so but before we get into that, the first, just vote to approve the minutes of May 22nd, the meeting at the Conway Grammar School shortly before the, the pre-town meeting. I move to approve the minutes, those look good to me. Yeah, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we'll just do the warrants real quick. The accounts payable warrant, the amount of $167,902.53. Payroll warrant, the amount of $133,183.91. Payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $31,849.88. And I looked through them all, but they were fine. The principal feature of this week's warrants is everybody, all the committee stipends were all across town government. So it's a, a rare thing. Well, it's just twice a year. So, mm -hmm. um, so we, I'll, I'll motion to approve those three warrants. Second. And oh. you have the stipends to sign, right? I think they're right there. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Okay. We'll, and the re we'll, we can skip the, the rest and just for now and just go into the purpose of this joint meeting, which is a discussion of lessons learned from our annual town meeting. And I think just to start out, maybe just with a focus that the, the, the real good, the, 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 the order. Sure. Do you want to call capital improvements to order? Do we either um, have a quorum? Yeah. Uh, one, uh, one, one, no, because there's five total. Even though you're, we go, only have four, there's only two of us here. So oh, I thought there were no, no, no. Oh, three, three, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yourself. I've had my moments in the past, too. We were all sitting on the other side of the room. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> that would be more than less. Yes, that is. <laughs> all right, so I'm calling the Capital Improvements Committee meeting to order. Very good, thank you. So I, th I thought, like for sure, what can be productive is just to really focus on process and sort of the, ex the overall experience, but process in particular, because that is the one thing that is in our control. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You can't control what other people say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how they feel, but mm -hmm. you can control the process. Yep. So, um, so I mean, it's just a, a discussion. Anybody can start it off. I don't have. So I'll start it off. So I would actually like to propose that the capital improvements do some type of presentation like we did at town meeting at every town meeting. Um, I thought the one that we did was a good launching point. There's plenty of room for improvement. There's plenty of room to more thoroughly integrate it into the whole agenda so that the meeting goes smoothly. But I think when it comes to those types of kind of big ticket decisions, it's going to be really helpful to have that just be a permanent part of town meeting and whoever is the chair can do the presentation and yeah, I'm totally happy with it. Lots of sure. room for you, you don't need to raise your hand. I mean, I'm, I'm not a raise your hand. <laughs> the moderator. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. The moderator w would like to uh, say that is a great idea, but it should happen. Any, any of these big items should not happen at town meeting. They should happen in a presentation before town meeting. Why? Because at town meeting, first of all, what, what what some of the things that I feel went wrong at town meeting and have heard about numerously since is 
everybody came to a chair full of papers. <laughs> they had all this stuff in front of them to try to digest as a meeting is going on. That was not productive. That's not what I'm suggesting. What I'm suggesting is that it's a it's a video it's a presentation I, on a screen. I understand that. No papers on the chairs. I understand for that. The, but for the for the ability to differentiate between what is an official town presentation and what some person I, hands out themselves. I understand that. That's all I mean. But it's the the information is much better gathered by the people if presented before they're sitting at town meeting. I don't know if I agree with that, Jimmy. I think you could do it both ways. I mean, of course, I would do the same presentation at pre-town meeting. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do a presentation at pre-town meeting because we don't have time to do that. Or hand it out at pre-town meeting. But that's, However, but, I do believe that the same information needs to be disseminated twice because a lot of people just are not quick studies. They just yeah. need to see it twice. They are not. To get their head around it. So when would you want to do it? If, you know, if well, I think the... 10 minutes before I the think meeting? it's up to the capital planning committee to have their own forum just as i would expect anybody else to have their own forum what do you mean? kind of like the transfer station forum yeah to have a, to have a yeah. you have a public meeting where people can come and listen to your thing because at least the bottom end of that is you can say at town meeting when they say we don't know what you're talking. About. Well, we had a you know we had a presentation. Yes, yeah, I, I mean, my but town <laughs> meeting. The, the thing I hear the most about town meeting throughout my whole life here uh -huh. is it takes too long. And so if you add things to make it go longer, it's only going to get uglier. Yeah, but there's a lot of people who don't pay attention until they get to town meeting. And that is the conundrum. I I agree, but at the same time. We have proven to ourselves this last meeting that overwhelming them with information on their seat at town meeting was not productive. And I, I, I agree about having all of that on like the seats. I believe I recall from past town meetings where if you wanted a copy of the warrant, it was there before you went into the room. People could present handouts. And I, I do feel like there needs to be some kind of a policy about like what kind of materials are distributed so it's very clear to people what's an official you know yep. town document and Agreed. what is something else yep. and, and and if it's and, may, and maybe that's easier just to have all of that at the beginning so you have the option of picking it up instead of like you know sitting down and having a stack of papers that's so town seal yeah, yeah what, we, what we can do is make it clear which ones the town is providing we can't we can't really require I mean, it, it's it's really sketchy uh, requiring or, or it, 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 uh, just just at all regulating the content of speech at a, at the public meeting and those the, the handouts are speech. Yeah, that's not. And, but I'm uh, but, but we, we should be able to regulate like what I where and when people pick them up. What like, I should have done at the beginning was ask our moderator for permission to stand up and explain everything that was on the chairs. And I had another. There's been so many good suggestions that have Actually, come out. Actually, that we, we had talked about that, and I and that was something that I was supposed to do, and I did not do oh, that. Oh, okay. And yeah, but you're right. But but the other suggestion that had come in, which I thought was really interesting, and again, I I I will go back to the table, and people can. It's just they always got so clustered that way, and it kind of bottlenecked <coughs> people. And I was thinking, at least if it's on the chair, it's already there. But somebody else suggested color coding each piece, so that the moderator could say, now if you look at your yellow sheet this will tell you about this blah 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 you know or the people presenting could say look at your you know blue packet and mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about right now i'm colorblind <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> <both>. <laughs> but to chris's point anything that comes from the town you have the town seal on it right okay yeah. yep good yeah. idea so and i i like both your suggestions i think that the <clears throat> i think jimmy's right about not doing a presentation i think that it that it did help that we had the printout mm -hmm. in front of people they could look it over the entire meeting whether we were presenting did it or not looking at it? i did okay. okay yeah for sure and um i do think it's a good idea to have a sure. forum ahead of time if we're doing big ticket items what do you consider a big ticket item i guess that would be a question well anything i think any, any request from the highway yeah. well, yeah. yeah. sure. it's a good yeah. differentiator yeah. Yeah. anything yeah. that the capital improvements committee <laughs> recommends right. yeah that's what i was thinking yeah. anything that falls under your purview that's yeah. going to come up as a warrant or yeah yeah yeah. And, and, yeah yeah i i know phyllis i talked to you about this before town meeting about how I, you know i wasn't a big fan of the powerpoint concept either just because i think 
one of the lessons of the highway facility committee when the first two real serious goes at it like 10 years ago and then eight years ago when they had the consultant and mm -hmm. it was based on what the city of providence rhode island had done and a slick presentation boy did that backfire on that mm -hmm. committee mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and you know the 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 whole idea because then people start what happens is people people instead of focusing on what's exactly at hand they focus on that presentation and they critique that presentation mm -hmm. and you get caught all up in the specific claim of that presentation and whether or not that was exactly and particularly truthful or whether it was a bit of an exaggeration and all that and like mm -hmm. I've, so i've seen that sort of that happened at our transfer station where they thought we mm -hmm. were cherry picking information and, and, mm -hmm. and like I, I thought that the written material that was provided was about as good as you could I mean, I thought it was good. It was mm -hmm. clear. It was short. Mm -hmm. It was in big type. Mm -hmm. um, but if it had been on a screen, you know, that everyone who didn't have the handout or was like, "Where is this in my packet?" If you could say like that, you know, like four slides. Like this is what's on. You know, you could have picked this up as you walked into the meeting. If you don't have it with you, I, this is what we're talking so, about so right now. So I, I thought what might be a bit of a compromise instead of an actual PowerPoint presentation. Like you had those, that was basically a PowerPoint on paper. Yeah. Right. And as those articles were called, right. that maybe the background without any further, just a background, now that we have a curtain. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, the, 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 like, yeah, right, right. But maybe the background, you know, on that curtain could be that pat without any further but oh, that, that, that's yeah. just like yeah. a focus yeah. so people could focus so you, yeah. so you can have a focus on it and then i mean mm -hmm. it would require somebody you know operating it but it's not a presentation doesn't you don't get penalized for extra time right yeah. but you right. get the it's information there. out there when sure. it's important to do that right when the discussion so, of the articles mm -hmm. actually happens yeah. gotta jump in Roy. <laughs> I, I realize i'm late to the party here um i just came from an individual she's I think this was her 50th town meeting. She's an old timer here. And she said there was just too much paper. Yeah, we just discussed I, that. Okay, yeah. so yeah. I, I, I didn't know. But, you know, I, I remember. Because the, the, the flip side of that, though, is we've been criticized for not enough information. That was going to be my next and, question. And, you know, and I, What's and the happy that, video? But, but paper <laughs> information at the time of the meeting itself is too much. It is. But. It is the, the, the well, first thing after the meeting that Kenny Womatt said to me, Chief Womatt, who I love very much, mm -hmm. said, keep it simple, stupid. When people had only the warrant in their hands at a town meeting, they had one focus. And now, he said, they have the warrant, the warrant light, and the motions was a complete overload because each was a little bit different. Yeah, it's redundancy. Yeah. Somebody yeah. had suggested, sorry, to, because um, I hear that completely, to use the idea of just putting it up on the screen. Because the reason I did the motions was because I felt that residents should know this is what you're actually voting. So if you put the motion on the screen so they could see what they're actually voting on, because I, I just didn't like, you know, if they don't know in front of them, they, the warrant is not what they're voting I, I, on. I, I feel like the moderator, like, to me it's pretty clear when you say, like, you ask for a vote. I, like, I, I think that, like, to, like, the list of motions was very helpful for me, like, you know, on select board. Um, but I, I do see how that was confusing to people. I do and, too. And I think mm -hmm. that that might be... Like even putting that on a screen, <laughs> that might be too much. I mean, I think we can rely on Jimmy to say, like, this is what we're voting on now. I, I think that's but, that's, that's yeah, worked in the past. Adding that next step was obviously, as as a moderator, you knew that that was screwing things up immediately because people when you were guys, looking okay, at this speak? one sheet <laughs> on this one sheet. <laughs> and it wasn't matching what they were holding in their yeah. hand that had always been their guide as the warrant that was trouble may i 
you, please. Sorry, um, I don't know where the little thing is for me to wave to get your attention. So, um, our clicker program has the ability to be hooked up to a projector and the warrant item that we are discussing at the time can be projected onto the screen. Perfect. Perfect. It's, it's something we've always chose not to do, but we can do that. Can I make a comment on that? Because it reminds me of what we get when in state elections. Because Bill Galvin's office sends out that book of the, for all of the, all of the mm -hmm. usually the, um, the referendums. Like a yes vote means right. this, and a no vote means that. That's written by the League of Women Voters. Yeah, but, and, but and that was that. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're but right. that was that was sort of the intent of the war on light was that we modeled that on. On so the Secretary of State the, was, was that like so yeah. he I mean, basically just like a plain English, English explanation of mm -hmm. what it is we're asking in and, this warrant article. And I heard many comments since the meeting about warrant light. Everybody likes warrant light. The font's too small. But, <laughs> but warrant light handed to you at town meeting. Yes. Is too late. Yeah. Warrant light handed out say before pre-town meeting is wonderful. And that's on us because. Sorry, I mean, Pre-town meeting, how many people were there? 40? So there's going to be another 100 people who aren't going to, oh, they're just yeah. out of luck. I mean, I, I understand that. But if everybody in this town got, got the warrant light, if we couldn't get out the warrant quickly, as happened this year, the warrant light would at least Tune them in. Are you suggesting sending it out? Then? Yeah, I don't well, think so you can that, send the warrant light like before you have the warrant ready. So no, that that's been our intention, and it's yeah. just a matter of timing. That like because right. of so we have that, it, but we we could do better about that. If we could, I mean, that's always been our intention was to mail that voter guide at the same time that but, we mail the warrant. Um, and, and if we did that, the next step I would suggest in that I know I'm suggesting way too much, tonight, <laughs> but would be just about word for word what mary mcclintock wrote yes about explaining how emotion works at town just that simple would be would be wonderful because there are there was more young people i did not know and that doesn't mean they haven't been there before but i noticed a lot of people i did not recognize before a town meeting and i think that's the most wonderful thing in the world but those people come into town meeting having no idea how town meeting works. And short of me doing a class, which was suggested to me last year, which don't get me wrong. It was suggested to you this year at town meeting. I, I, well, two in a row. I, I would do that, but if we could hand out a guide, the town could hand out a guide that comes earlier than town meeting that says this is how a motion works at town meeting. And look, you had beautiful the second page of the of your the town report. Town report yeah. had identifications there that pertain to this, but nobody read them. Mm -hmm. And, and I nobody brought there because no, well, well, nobody reads. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yeah, um, but that that was awesome. But if we could send out a guide to say this is how town meeting works, mm -hmm. you know, you have your town warrant. We start at the beginning. The selectmen make a motion on each article as it goes on. You know, there's a call for an explanation, and there's a call for a discussion. You know, we need a second. And then there's those two calls, and after the discussion is over, we vote, or we vote to table it, or we vote on the motion. And those simple things could be in a little guide that goes out the citizens before. And, and I still think copying the way the, the one that comes out. Yeah. Like the, the, the way League of Women Voters does yeah. it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. No, but, what yeah. But it sounds exactly. like yeah. we're locking awesome. in having a PowerPoint, a, a projector and a screen. And With the warrant. With the warrant. Yeah. I love right. the warrant idea. Well, or the and the motions. I like putting I, 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 the motions I because they're different use, than yeah. the warrant. They are. Totally. Yeah. Oh, most yeah, of the right. time they are. Wait, Where the motions are really important is when people start talking about they want to make an amendment to the motion. I understand. And they that. don't have the original motion that got read. But and, having right. those two things, Bob, screw it. We saw it in spades. More than spades. I don't know what meeting you were at. But the one no, I was at, that, that one motion, you know, two page sheet. Screw everything up. But I think part of that was because I did not put the warrant itself on everybody's mm -hmm. seat. I expected 
residents to bring the one no, that got mailed to me. Had the warrant. That was on me. I didn't even bring the but I think if they had the warrant, they would recognize that, and then we could explain the motions are what you're actually going to vote on. Yeah. You know. Can I so make we, another suggestion? After this thing, we're going to pause to hear the member of the public. Of course. Oh, absolutely. So, to switch to wireless mics, what we used uh, to do yeah. in my last town, we had kids from the high school from the media department. There'd be two teenagers on either end of the room with wireless marks. Somebody would raise their hand, they'd run to that person and hand them a wire. We've mark. had that in the past. And you I, could do that. And right, I, Jonathan? We had a mobile mics that you run over? To, Just to two. We can, I mean, we could, but... The one what? mic in the middle was a disaster. People did not want to, mm -hmm. even when goaded, did not want to walk and some could not mm -hmm. go to that mic. Well, that's, and yeah. I, I know I understand the importance of because because I heard it a lot from this side of the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is important for the people at home. Oh, no, it is. It yes. is, but it's also important to make the actual thing that's happening work well. And it was not working well with the one mic up front that everybody wanted somebody to go to so they could be on camera that was not working well at all and that did not help us well, two wireless mics with that i would, I would love though i remember when you guys used to run around yeah. high school students much younger by the way with wireless mics mm -hmm. we're all i want to suggest us right though you guys have outsourced it to other companies as well which i recommend doing too yeah all right so um we we do have a member of the public here so we there is uh, we, we have a traditional five minute time limit for public comments that doesn't that doesn't include the responses to your co questions or comments this just that's just the time limit for your comment I just got a couple of questions all right you can stay there you can come stand up you can move wherever or just yes. go up okay. you can stay right there and have at it all right uh, when, so, when something is purchased in this town by any department how much money before they that they could spend before it has to be approved? None. I think no. I think the finance committee had said five thousand, but I don't. I mean, without Al here, I can't really remember if that was. Is that what you're asking? Yes. How mm high -hmm. can they go? Right. Yeah. You mean it has to be? No. Nobody can just write a check. Uh -huh. Nobody can just write a check. I mean, by themselves, everything gets approved yeah. by the, by whom? By the town treasurer, the town accountant, and the select board. Every we sign warrants yeah. every but, week. What What's the the price? Ten thousand, five thousand, one penny. I mean, yeah. Every penny gets. Yeah, everything. N nobody spends money without. Well, I mean, a your lot office of has a little slush fund for buying, you know, paper clips. But I, don't, I don't know if that's what you mean. No, but, but I have no slush funds. Well, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't well, I think, I mean, each, uh, each department has a budget right. that yeah. gets approved at town meeting every year. And, and we, I mean, because I have to present that to the select board, we know exactly what they're spending their, their money on. If and they want to spend money like a like a large capital purchase that has to come now to is the that board. accessible by it, it yeah uh, the, all of that information is so I, I don't know if you go online at all but no the, i don't okay um i could i mean i could certainly print out copies or show them to you so what happens with the budget process is we go through every single um, department's budget line by line and that's what gets approved during the five months that the committees and, meet and, and, and on that's that is it's the person's name that approved it saying it was an item bought and it's uh it was approved is it approved by is the name of the person that approved that that check well e will yes. be with it well yes yeah. so yes. what happens is that like for instance tonight the select board signed the warrants and in there each department head such as right. myself will get a bill and we'll write it up and we'll say we're going to pay this amount it then gets reviewed by the accountant who puts it together in the warrant and then the select board signs off on it so a lot of people's eyes see what's being purchased 
right? Yeah. And that's true of every department, from the school to highway to everybody else. Every penny that goes out the door, there's a lot of eyes that take a look at it, and everybody signs on it. We sign, I sign on it. They sign, um, everybody signs off on it. So there shouldn't be any anything spent without a bunch of people. Folks, are we understanding the question? I, I don't so. know. I don't know. Because I don't, you know, there's there's a huge difference between the day-to-day -day running of things right. and purchasing the major pieces of equipment. Right. So where was your question directed? There was a system that was bought, right? For six thousand mm, okay. dollars. Okay. It's a capital purchase, right? Right. Scissor lift. Who yeah. approved of it? Um Tom Reeves. Well, before that, which committees did they go through for? No, it actually was purchased through the building, um, the highway garage as a piece of equipment to do the work that we did at the garage. Wouldn't that purchase have to be approved? It was all approved through the building committee. So it was part of the allocated funds in order to put up the building at the price that we did put it up for. You needed that piece of equipment. No, this is after the building is up. It was bought towards the end, but it was bought because the money that was being spent on the rental, we felt that it needed to, it was better that we purchased it so we could finish the work that needed to be done on the building without renting one. And also, in the end, it will work for repairs on the buildings that we have in town, um, but mainly for the storage building and the maintenance building. Okay. All right, that's one. Uh, on, on like the, uh, the man lift, and the uh, the um, chipper. chipper, right? How come it wasn't up to a two-thirds vote when it was up in December? It was up to a two-thirds vote. Why wasn't it presented this way this time? Because it depends where the funds are coming from. So the the funds for the funds for that this year were out of free cash, which isn't free and is not cash, but it. But the it was actually was transfer. It was, yeah, it was for the transfer. For, that's right, from, 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 from the highway fund. facility fund. Um, yeah. But that, so that that uh, that's just what the law says. You have to, no, lo, most of the times those things are funded out of um, the reserve fund, a, 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 or out of the cap, out of the capital. Out of capital, yeah, uh, not uh, the reserve, but the and, capital. And 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 anytime anytime you withdraw money from the capital equipment fund, it requires a two thirds vote. Mm -hmm. and, so that would be, as most people read in their warrant, the capital stabilization fund. Capital stabilization yes. fund. So any stabilization That's fund, you can put money in yeah. with a with a majority, but to take yeah, it out, no. it's I, a two I just wanted to make that clear. But that's something we could do a better job of explaining yeah. why they yeah. seem like the same capital purchases, but one is only the source of the two. majority of the requirements of different sources. Well, and that's one of the other reasons why I kind of liked having the motions because this, the source of funding is what usually gets decided towards the end, as, as you explained mm -hmm. during the yeah. meeting. Yeah. So if you don't know the source of funding, which you don't from the warrant, you know, if a question comes up about that, at least you see in the motion where the money's coming from. Well, that, that was brought up to me that those things used to be on the warrant yearly, and well, they were. I a lot of times it said, from this or that or yeah. that. <laughs> it's yeah. never been, well, not that I've seen it. When you look over, it gives you a bunch of options, and the language, believe me, is left. Well, that, that's loose. what people were complaining For about. For that reason. Saying, there are all these options. We don't know where it's actually coming from. That's right. That's In the past, it used to say it's coming from capital stabilization fund. Mm -hmm. Now it's listed as choices. Nobody knows. I heard that comment. Yeah, times. that's that's been pretty standard as far as I know. When town council goes over it, she certainly recommended that you leave it that way because Once you may have to change your mind. And if you if you put it as a specific mm -hmm. source, it has to come from. It has to come from that, right. and you don't give yourself any. Or you have way. to amend it on the floor. Or mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yep, and that creates more confusion. Yeah. Sure confusion. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we explain that? Okay, how why it was not a two thirds. Yeah, but you could take any high-priced item 
and just put it into that. And it, 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 no, that was a special. And and, special and that those, each of the pots. Of, so if you want to call like each of the funding source a pot of money, um, then each of those pots of money are limited, and so there you know there's no they're not. Uh, th that's why there's there was only one or two things that can ever be in, in any town meeting brought from a different source b besides the capital uh, stabilization. But, but that's what we do every year. We have certain some of the items are from free cash, mm -hmm. and that's a majority vote. And some of the items are from the stabilization fund, and that's a two thirds vote. And and this year wasn't some of it coming from savings from the building of the highway. Right. Well, well, there was this year, but we don't normally get that. But no, think of I it understand as free cash. That. But uh, yeah. 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 There's also a mower bought for the ball field out here, and for the town, for the common, right? Why? Why? And there was also another person hired just to do that, right? No. That person. The, the and why? mower was not bought for the ball field or the. That's we the way I that. thought it was presented when it was purchased. When was that? Before my time? Because it hasn't been since I've been here. It, what was the second, uh, I mean, this last guy hired for? Wasn't building, it the mall? Building, building and grounds and highway department. Oh. No, it's not the mall. We already went through this whole thing it was several years ago where the town was wanted the highway department to do it. In the cost of it, the select board said no, and it didn't pass a town meeting. Really? So, so now, instead of you mean to tell me that that mower that was out on Shelburne Falls Road today, he's right? doing the cemeteries. That that can't the mow hire. the ball field instead no. of paying somebody twenty four thousand dollars to mow the ball field in this. Really? Yeah, really. That's that's a little ridiculous. What do you think? We got all kinds of time? I, I, I just don't understand where people come and think that the highway department just has all this time to do all these things. I, I'm, I'm so frustrated. To I, I have no clue where you guys come up with these ideas. You think we're wasting money. We just saved the town a half a million dollars on the highway garage facility, and all you want to do is say, oh, you're wasting money, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it's very frustrating. Well, I mean, wait till you hot, wait till soon when you have to have another highway guy, superintendent, take care of this thing, because I'm damn close to leaving. I don't need this shit from all these people. There's I don't a lot like of capable it. people out there, Ron, that can handle that job. Yeah. We, and we, I, I mean, I'm I, sorry, but the, this is getting ridiculous. I, the, the highway department, I, I believe that, like we, we've understood, like I've understood at least from my role on the select board over the over the past few years, the highway department is is understaffed currently, and Ron has a very hard time even hiring. I mean, we, we've had vacant positions in the highway department for extended periods of time. Um, we, it, it's it, it's hard to find people to do this work, and when we have the, the the miles of road that we have in town, and the and the number of employees that we have on we staff. Got, we got, pardon me, we got 63 miles of road, a little over, mm -hmm. right? 64. Okay. And our budget in this town this year was almost up to a million and a half, right? Where'd you get that number? Yeah, that's wrong. I, people yeah. keep on saying that number because they got it off of a website called ClearGov. That bogus. That's that website is a website that was founded by a marketing manager that is artificial intelligence based. So the numbers on there aren't validated, and they're definitely not correct. We looked into it. We went to the other towns to get their budgets as well, compared them to our town, and our town's actually doing pretty well. We're in the top half of the best per road mileage and per capita. I, the towns. And, uh, we've seen that document, but is it possible to put that, to make that available to the public? Because I know that you had shared, like, our our costs per um, mile of road versus Williamsburg, that Ashfield. Was a, that, that was, was one of the town meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, that was one of the town meetings. Yeah. 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 No, no, I didn't put. You put the chart up, the graph. Oh, the drawing, which had to be. That's it, yeah, that's the one. This was the first I saw this chart. That was only 
on your tables. That was not on oh, the chairs. Oh, it wasn't on the chairs. But, okay. but this, oh. this would have been useful, I think, to for the rest of the meeting to see this. Okay. Well, I, I think but before the meeting it would, but at the meeting. Okay. Okay. Before the there was too much yeah. paper. Not paper. enough. No, no more <laughs> paper right. on the chairs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. But this, but, you know, this it, was, so instead of a billion and a half, the actual number, according to this, is $656,000. Is that correct? That's for this year. This, this, this for upcoming fiscal year, fiscal yes. Fiscal. Okay. Yeah. So there's, it's not a million and a half dollars. It's, it's a mil, almost a million dollars less than that number. So just like the highway yeah. facility. Okay. So, but at the same time, okay, I, I, it, it, it should be okay for residents to ask about all of these things. Yes. It should, it, and it should be okay for residents to uh, offer ideas or to really dig into a certain area. Like, can, can this be, like we're here tonight to, just, to, to talk about how we can do this better, more efficiently. You know, we always want to like serve. You know, to, we we provide the town provides services. How can we do this better for less money, uh, et cetera, et cetera? And I, when you know, I think that there are some things that we do in not just highway department, but in other d department budgets as well. That you know that that there is a traditional contracting process, and you know what 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 we used to do. For the first for the first 200 years of this town, the, all all highway department uh, up up until like the 1930s, the those contracts were were issued at town meeting. They were, town meeting included auctions. They used to call them they call them vendu auctions, where the mowing, for instance, would be struck off to the lowest bidder. So uh, the residents would bid on the mowing contract right there, and you can't do that anymore. But there are, you know, I, I, I've thought about things like that, like, it, 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 you know, at the same time, if it costs more in, like, the time to, to oversee these processes that are out of the ordinary, then you would save, the, you know, it's not worth it. But there are things that, you know, like, I, 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 you, you look out at our road, there's a hundred guys in an hour driving by sometimes with a mower, lawnmower in the back of their vehicle. And I wonder how many of them knew about that this that the town mowing contract was available to be bid on, and whether we could do anything to improve the, the number of bidders that we get, and would that result in a lower uh, cost? And but but you know, I think there's some parameters that you have to meet. There, there is. That's just have a guy there, along there, there, You have to the have problem. the proper insurance. You have exactly. to have yeah. um, you know. Yeah. You have to have references, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but Th there are things that that we can always improve on there are things that we can always do better and um, that mowing thing might be one of them it might not be one of them um, but it might be so uh, just so you understand the mowing we we used to um, hire out for the cemetery care but because of the cost of it we took that on this year to help with the budget. <coughs> That's like seven thousand dollars that that was costing the town. We now do we're doing that now and we haven't got any more help. But because of where the money, the budget money is, I mean how much money things cost now, we try we try to do things to help the residents by not having that huge budget. I mean, if we added six thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars to our building and grounds budget for mowing, I mean, it would have been that much more on my budget. And I can't help what bid prices come in at. We have to take the lowest bidder. Um, well, that's understandable, but you only had one bidder this year, right? Can't help what people won't bid. And that's part of the problem, you is you yeah. find the people. Wait, is it ever passed the paper, right? Am I correct? No, we follow the state guidelines. State and guidelines. So what, I don't know what they are today. It used to be I had to put in the paper, but. No, uh, well, we bid, we call, we have to get three seal on uh, three quotes from three um, reliable companies. Mm -hmm. 
But that's a very common problem in today's procurement environment. Oh, yeah. You'd be surprised. A lot of times you get no bids from yeah. contractors. They don't want the work. Yeah. Uh, this. I see it at work every day. Because they can't find the employees to do the work. I, that's exactly I mean, that, right. That's been the bit. biggest problem in yeah. the last three I years. Know. Yep. Um, and that's why some of why the prices that and the fuel prices for them got out of control. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the point you're trying to make is that the difference between hiring this out, even though it's a high price for the mowing, is still an awful lot less than hiring the person we would have to hire to do the job in town. Well, to no. hire the extra staff. Yes, well, it, so. it probably would be in the town's best interest if we could find the help. We, we can't even find the help for the highway department without that. Yeah. So oh. why would you take on something more? Mm -hmm. I mean, we did. We took on uh, um, cemeteries this year, mm -hmm. you know, to help out the budget. But we, we still are, we, I just lost a guy this week is his last week. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of what he's doing. He was a great worker and everything, but he couldn't afford to be here. Uh -huh. Well, it, this is related to the CDL drivers, right? Am I correct? Well, that has a lot to do with stuff, but we've changed things in the past few years so that we don't all, not everybody has a CDL now. Right. But so a few, how much would we have to raise the pay scales to get suitable help, do you think? Well, put it to you this way. Town of Windsor, which is a little town up on top of the hill, they went to $30, starting at $30 an hour for a CDL truck driver. And what are we? 23. Hmm. We, we got a 2% cost of inc um, living increase. Our insurance went up more than that. Mm -hmm. They're going backwards. Right, they're going backwards. That's not counting what milk and eggs and all that other stuff costs. Right. You can't blame mm -hmm. these people for going somewhere else. Right. No, no, we don't do it. Uh, I'm just, for the record, I, I wanted to hear what, uh, you know, so, and not only to get new drivers, you can't just bring new people in at some pay scale, you've got to take the existing people and bring them up there also. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're not masked. But we are, we have, this, is the, this is the gentleman's time, though, he still has, he's only used up two minutes, you still got Sorry. three, we, we've been doing all the talking, <laughs> you still got three more minutes if you want. Yeah. Yeah. more questions. Uh, what about the guardrails? In this town, for seven years I've been after. I've been in, in the town hall saying the guardrails on Shelburne Falls Road are gone. You know what the liability for it is? Look it up. I did. It's in the plan. It's just the cost of things. I mean, we the guardrail versus paving the road. I well, uh, it was brought up at that meeting that we needed the man lift because it was the law. Them guardrails are the law. And the town is liable for anybody that gets hurt. And you get down by the dump, that's, that bank is steep. You get over by Thompson, over by your house, it's steep. Somebody goes over that bank, you're not going to find them. The guardrails where we're, uh, Bob extension the road out, they were removed, they were never replaced. No, nope, because there's no need for them there. That's why the, that section... But the town was, owns right up to the edge of where the bank drops off, and that's a steep bank too. You mean right there where the road was widened? Yeah. Yeah, but the, the, it means there there's enough space between the road and the drop-off where there's not required to have guardrails. There was guardrails that, that were hit seven years ago. I was standing right there. And they were never replaced. And the insurance off the vehicles should have paid for them. Whoop. On the Shelburne Falls Road? Huh? On the Shelburne Falls Road? Shelburne Falls Road and, and over by Pete Sanger's. Right where that little brook comes in. Kid just got his license, I mean, car, first car, and he was looking down at his inspection sticker and he took out the guardrails. Yeah, the the, only the way police were there. So that should have They had to have it towed. 
that should have been in the police report, and then there should have been there should have been uh, insurance company. And White company. was pushed over over the bank over by the dump. He went over the bank. Yeah. Somebody come across the road, hit him, pushed him right over the bank. Everybody's personal auto insurance policy in this state has to have pro a property damage right liability, and, and that's and that's part of what that goes for. So it, um, I don't, without e looking into each individual thing and seeing what the police report was and where the insurance companies were notified and whatnot. But um, a lot of times, insurance companies have to be pushed to make that payment. They don't. They it's. They don't really come knocking at your door, volunteering to pay anymore. You got to chase well, after. Somebody's got to follow it up. And, right, yeah, I mean, but that's usually the uh, police matter to to file it, file the police report, and then it's. Um, can the, but can we as a body follow up on the specific places where you're concerned that there's no guardrails and figure out what? Yeah, just well, so we have a, a, well, a, an one answer. Might help in that okay. little brook that goes into that swamp across from. Uh, well, Robin owns a swamp. Yep. Yeah, I mean, they, are there ever grants? I mean, we can get grants sometimes for there should you, you know well, culverts and so this things. is this was this was one of my source points about the uh, FEMA and about uh, Hurricane Irene that you had our congressman and everybody else coming in the day after. Oh no, it was or the and the tornado too. And the, the tornado, the congressman I mean, coming Neal up, came. Richie Neal, and, and saying, yeah. and saying, I will make sure that the town is made whole and doesn't have to pay a penny out of pocket. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, you know, six months later, it's, oops, you didn't have enough damage to qualify for aid. <laughs> so, uh, and, you know, and then the next year, it's, you know, we need to pony up forty you or fifty. Aid? Aid? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the federal government. That's the rules. It, it, right. Um, that but, but it was empty but, promises ahead of that. Yeah, yeah, no, that, but, yeah. So, um, but but so 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 uh, uh, the residents were encouraged to believe that this would be taken care of, right. and not from their own tax dollars. And then the following town meeting, it's hey, we need fifty thousand dollars for guardrails. And um, Ron, you put some rocks along the Waitley Road one time instead of guardrails. No, no. Oh, I thought you did. That was a good solution. Guardrails are really it's, expensive. It's not worse. They are really expensive. They are. <laughs> but like I said, I was in construction for 42 years. I've ran some good sized jobs. Well, I will definitely look into whatever I can for grants that might cover guardrails. Let's see if there's there anything. There should be some. I, I mean, Buckland got that whole new section. They didn't pay for it. It was a state. Took them ten years to get it. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Ten years. Might have even been longer than that. But it was at least ten years that they, from when they started. Nothing happens quick with grants. Yeah. Well, I know that. Mm -hmm. Except the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was an extraordinary effort. Do you have more questions? No, nope. thank you. 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 Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I wanted to tell him I appreciate his passion for town. Right. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to tell him that. But the reason that I find so many times that town meeting I have to shut him down is his delivery. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he cares. He cares. I, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. But at the same time, you can't swear. See, right. You can't. And you know what? And it's it's more than that, though. What what I say yes. to, what I say to people is it that's not. People getting angry, people getting personal and mean, whatever, right. isn't the worst of our problem. The worst of our problems is the people that have checked out altogether and want nothing to do with any of this whatsoever. Yeah, agree. Apathy, totally. Totally. apathy totally. is our greatest enemy. Agree, mm -hmm. and but that guy is still in your face, which, like I say, I don't mind. It's just you have to plan accordingly. I don't think we fully answered his questions. questions. I agree with you. No. The scissor lift 
you could use those funds for the services unless you can't use them for guard rooms. Right. Right? I don't think yeah. that's the right question. No. I, I think it's also... I think you went into... The question got the answer. Yeah, I did I too. think people also have a hard time understanding that when it comes to state and federal money, there's like thresholds that you have to... Like when we lived in Westwood, in Denham on the other side of 128, all those people there got sound barriers. For the when highway, they, when for they the added, 128 expansion. When they added yeah. them, like, we didn't get them in Westwood because our density wasn't high enough. Mm -hmm. They got them, we didn't. You should have been more dense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's, that, that was, was, that was the goal, message. You know? yeah. 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 I looked into it and said, sorry, you no, don't have enough No density. question about it. It's just the situation when your congressman stands up and says, and this says, is getting taken care of for you all. Um, Did anybody ever call him out on that? I'm sure. He never came to Conway <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. again. If he did, and, and he fired our town. So when, when, when we had the, the, they just redid, um, reassigned all the Conway, the, the redistricting. Yeah. And he specifically, the only town that he has to be relieved of as congressman is the town of Conway. Yeah, I wonder why. And it's because, oh. not just that, it's because we voted for his opponent in the primary. Correct. At, by a three to one margin over him. <laughs> and, and, the and, town and, has spoken. And, and, and that, that of his opponent, his, the hometown that he was from, he didn't even win his own primary in no. his hometown. <laughs> but we, we, we sent a message as well. We I, did. Will say, and, I, I will say, I was very pleased to see our rep at town meeting. I thought that was. Yeah, Natalie's very That was nice to see her there. That was an but he's our federal rep. I mean, it was sort of yeah, a different yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Okay. And Reginald's yeah. not what our else we got? anymore. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, the... the uh, lessons take a learned. Breath. Are we back on lessons learned? Lessons learned. Yeah, yeah I, I, I thought the comment about the, the roving microphone would have, would have saved time. To, to me, more than anything else, it's that, it's that minute that you wait for someone to come. Like, all, right. all, all of any delay of any kind, I can see people just fidgeting. I, you can I, see people, you can see people just like going. And I but the problem is people to, lining up behind the mic. <coughs> Instead oh, of that, getting that's your race. Well, well that, that's a very good Because Nelson Shiflett, by the way, that would be the color coding. Because uh, I got a call from him today, and he doesn't call me very much. So I called him back, and it was very cute that the first thing he said was, I heard you were going to resign as moderator. And I said, well, that's not true at all. As a matter of fact, we're going to have a meeting tonight to try to make the whole thing better. Why would that, you know, why would Saturday make me want to resign? Number one. But number number two, you mentioned the color coding in that. But, but we have to, how do I say this? It's a good question. We, we just have to get better at meeting the needs of our townspeople because when I grew up here, and that was a long time ago, I understand that, you knew how to act at a public meeting and you knew how to be cordial, and but you could get your point across. What I mean by that is if I was a young man with no training, I would look across the table at you at town meeting and say, you're a liar. Because I grew up and was trained by people in the community, as a matter of fact, one of my heroes is one of the old town moderators, Kenny Lamette's dad, who was awesome. But he would say, I don't know if what you're saying is totally accurate. <laughs> I've just said the same thing, but in two different ways. So but it does seem that the younger town meeting people get, they've lost that. So they come to town meeting, they, they are unprepared, they don't know, nobody in their life has told them, well, this is how a town meeting works. So we've never had to think about this before, but now it's our job believe it or not, which is, it's okay. Yeah. But it's our job to educate them about how a town meeting runs. The only thing I will add to that is that needs to happen 
earlier, not closer to town meeting. It may need to happen year round, but it needs to happen before they walk into the first town meeting and have a pile of things on there besides the warrant, and they don't even know what the warrant is. Well, the public, public meetings are published. It's all a public uh, record. I would say that it's not just a young person issue, it's a problem generally. Civics in general. Yeah. Civ just, civics are... People yes. just don't want to participate. I mean, when I see people leaving town meeting before all the votes are in, I'm uh, like, well, really? Well, remember, but, six hour town meeting. But, but, that is, but that has happened my entire life yeah, here. Of course they there do. Are and always, I know it's happened in every there's town always, I've ever And it's in. usually a large yeah, group that have one special interest. Right. Yeah. And the second that interest, all through the 80s and 90s, yeah, yeah. As, school, as soon as the school votes were done, mm -hmm. the place would... Right. Empty yeah. out. I mean, I don't know how, what more we could possibly do when there are numerous public hearings. You can go to whatever you want. If you don't want to get on the internet or you don't want to read what comes in the mail, do you want someone to knock on your door and tell you to come that, to something? That's, that's why I said something <laughs> as terrible as I did for a re just retired guy like me and said, maybe I will have to do classes do a class a year about how town meeting works. Because the personal connection almost means more than the teaching. Yeah, I agree with that, but you still gotta get people to show up. <laughs> so, so oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, Adam just had a great idea, and I want to piggyback mm -hmm. off that. I love the idea of a class. Adam was saying maybe you could teach it to the kids. And what I would like to do is I'd like to have a video clip that we can put on the website for anybody who wants to see how a town meeting works. And I was going to ask you if you might be willing to work on something like Jeez, that. Jeez, I don't know. I'm kind of busy now. That I'm <laughs> <laughs> Not to put you on the spot or anything. No, but it's okay. Yeah, I would, love, I would love to do that because a young woman approached me after last year's town meeting at, as they were walking out and said, I had no idea what was going on here. Is there any way? And the only reason she asked me is because uh, my daughter Jamie, who's the sixth grade teacher here, I don't even know how that happened, but it's wonderful. Her and I taught the Girl Scouts archery to get their archery badges. And I have that connection. I have a connection with the young kids that I would normally not have, except I have two grandchildren. And my daughter's a great teacher. But anyway, that person was one of the mothers and trusted me enough after archery to say, maybe you could do this. And it planted a seed, and this year, I'm not going to lie, kind of drove that home that maybe there needs, but they need that. They don't need a video. You know, video are good, but they don't need a, they need a human person in front of them to say, well, this is how this works, that they see does that job regularly, and they connect better with that. So well, we, what I meant was to take a video of you doing yeah, that. Yeah, so I have no problem. In our last town, it was a little easier in our last town because in Westwood, it had its own high school and its own school district. So the, the high school kids weren't going to a school like Frontier. However, one thing that the start st school, high school started to do was to get kids to register to vote if they, as soon as, as soon as they, remember that? As mm -hmm. soon as they turned 18. I don't remember. And I, I'm always wondering how many, how many 18 year olds are there in Conway who could be registered to vote? I to think pretty much. You can pre-register when you apply for your, uh, I believe it, which I think even when you apply for your driver's permit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but all of my kids, I, I, I and, and I swear to God, they, they tease me. Do they do that in Frontier League? Yes. I don't know if they so, do, but, but if a kid walks in my door, I'm like, nice to meet you. Are you registered to vote? Oh, oh you're not? Well, let's just go right 20, now. It's so as easy. a 23-year <laughs> high school girls track and field coach at Frontier, I can guarantee you that most of the girls that I went through the program in 23 years, oh, they were all registered to vote at Oh, good, because they should all be in town meeting and voting at town meeting. <laughs> so one, one of the things that um, in, town, in uh, Buckland, I think it was a few years back, they made, uh, based on, uh, there was one, per, one kid at Mohawk that was really, really wanted to get 16 and 17 year olds. Right. To, and Buckland changed their bylaw to allow 16 and 17 year olds mm -hmm. to participate at town meeting. Wow. And, vote. and what 
for, the, for that by, for that town meeting that the bylaw was voted on, there was, was th there was like twenty or thirty sixteen or seventeen year olds that showed up. Wow! The next year, when when the bylaw was in effect and no big deal was made of it, not a single one showed up. Well, the year, to, you the the year after like that, not a single one showed up. Stuff. No, um, I get that. So yeah. you know the kids are all attracted to the struggle. So I that think that's awesome. it's a fun idea to have them participate. Like yeah. oh, I really <laughs> think you should save the voting till they're eighteen. Honestly, I, I don't. I, don't, I, I, I think we're. I think we're on our way wow. to another six-hour meeting. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. I want to get back on the process. So I, I don't know if it was Jimmy or if it was Mary who had brought up the idea of um, when uh, a town member gets up to talk at the mic, they say something. There's um, a rebuttal, whatever you want to call it. There's an answer to that, and then they get back up and keep talking. Right? Limited the one. Yeah, one time. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you were people, saying. Please, I think so can too. we just enforce where, who you are, and where you live? Yeah. 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 I'm doing this. I, 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 I don't I, know wait a second. Everybody. I just want to say that Jimmy did a better job this year on that than than I see yeah. in pre yeah. previous years. Uh, so is that it wasn't universal, but it was much more what? severely so enforced. You, know, you just can't believe that they either. Stand up in their chair and start talking. Yeah. Oh, they're nervous. Pe pe yeah. Or they, yes. they're terrified. Oh, they're not just nervous. They are, they're they are terrified. So and I understand that. that. Yeah. But, you know, and, and as a matter of fact, the man called you out. Yes. Oh, I'll be for being sorry. I know yeah. him. Yes. I know him Good. because he coaches everything, and my kid, my grandkids are involved in all that. Yeah. And I love the guy here. He does. He does everything he said. He wasn't lying about anything. Yeah. But when he approached the mic and started talking, I said, identify yourself. And he gave me the funniest look. And he told me, he was like, well, you know me. You see me all the time. He didn't realize I meant for everybody else. Right, right. Else yes. right. right. And that you could see the light went off for him. And he said who he was. But that there was that couple of seconds, he was like, what are you asking me for? Yeah. But I understand, because people aren't public speakers. So. I think at least they should do it the first time they talk. Well, isn't this part yeah. of the instruction that we give at the beginning of the yeah. meeting? Right? Yeah. It yeah. says when you get up to Come speak, on, you, have to, you have to identify yourself for these reasons. It's One, we need meeting. to know that you're a resident of the town. Correct. Because if you're not a resident of the town, you, you need special permission to get up here and say anything. So A, everybody needs to know who you are and that you're, you're legitimate, and, 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 and B, you have to be heard and identified for the broadcast. You know what they do in larger towns? And this happened in our old town in Westwood. Is we had a town meeting where literally a thousand people showed up. It was a really contentious. And all these newspaper people showed up and all these people from around the towns. They made them sit in a special section and they were not allowed, they had to stay there. And they were not allowed because you to had speak. town meeting members and they were no, no non town no, wait, 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 wait a second. Town residents. Oh, they Frame, weren't town residents. They weren't. Oh, okay. Yes, Framing, yes. we used to do this was when we were doing hand votes, so you yeah. had to segregate right. them yeah. in a separate part of the well, town. Well, does that. Lori's still on here, she could probably tell you that that, that is actually so. And, and people did have cards that she gave, yeah. yeah. You, you can tell them, Lori, I see you unmuted. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I unmuted, <laughs> yes. Sitting. Sitting non-voters or non-residents in a separate section is very standard. Yeah. Um, we only had one non-resident there yesterday, and she was only there because of the dedication right. to Malcolm. Oh. And then she left. Um, well, the other non the other non-residents the there were like were like the superintendent of Frontier. Right. 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 That's true. Um, generally, if when people come in that aren't registered voters, because I don't, I don't like, we have such a small space and, and I don't like to segregate people mm -hmm. in such a small crowd, is they get a brightly colored card that has in big letters that I'm a non-voter and they don't get a clicker. Right, right. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so, but um, we, it, it doesn't happen often for us. Okay. So I think but yeah, I mean, if, if we want to set up a separate section in the future, no, we can. No, yeah, so I think maybe we should restrict the speakers to, uh, you know, only have one comment per article if they're standing up. And I think uh, everybody did a good job about making sure that people stay on subject. Um, I know I talked to Devlin afterwards saying that was not the right form, uh, yeah. the problem. Right. Yeah. You know, and told her, you know, here's how you can bring up your issue, you know, uh, contact me later. 
Um, but that didn't just happen with her, it happened with other people, especially talking about the highway department, everybody's an expert, right? So um, I think that you guys did a good job on that, but that needs to be known also at the beginning of the meeting. You stick on the subject, nothing outside of it, no personal facts. So on that particular issue, um, the question was asked, how many, how many hours were on the, the piece of equipment? Yes. Are we under any obligation to answer that question? No. So, okay. We should. <laughs> so, well, it's not that it's an unfair question, but, yeah. but at that moment in time, in that context, is there an obligation to answer the question? There's actually no legal obligation to answer any question. Right. Most okay. towns do and, not answer any right. question. And, and so this gets to what I was saying about the worst thing in the world is apathy. Because what, what the, the secret to, we had 160 something people at our town meeting. Right. That's double what Deerfield got. It's almost double what Sunderland got. Like, yeah, yeah, this was like 80 or 90. And, and they're three times our size. The, re the reason that we have that is because we do answer all the questions. And I think our secret sauce, if there is such a thing, is we have, in, we get informed consent. And to, to the informed part, mm -hmm. especially, that requires answering questions. And it's also, it's also the friendly thing to do. It is. And you know, when, when the, the vibe that I always wanted to create is friends and neighbor vibe. And not, not, not government versus, versus which, which is fine, government. but it leads to a six hour meeting. Right, but, 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 but democracy know, is hard work. We've never, I'm sorry, but we have never, I have, you know, I've only been the moderator a few years, but I have, I have come to these meetings my entire life. We have never had a meeting like last, the last meeting ever in our entire existence. And John, that was your first meeting, wasn't it? No. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was but, like the but, third. But, can I just say again? <laughs> well, this honestly, is my honestly I've this always is thought we were yes. above that fray. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it was staring us in the face. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you, you know, whether people have said nice things to me since, that was a low point for me. The whole, the, the fact that the meeting, did I apologize at the end of the meeting? Mm -hmm. I apologized yeah. because I was embarrassed mm -hmm. about that whole thing. But I've never seen the vile, the vitriol, the, I've never seen anything like that in a meeting in Conway in my entire life. There have been terrible meetings here during the Iraq war. There was one right up stairs here where Dick Womatt, the moderator at the time, three-time Korean frontline combat veteran, had his letter of resignation in his front pocket. Mm -hmm. That was contentious, but it was never of the fever of what we saw. But you missed a special town meeting in December. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, that was Unfortunately, my, so we may have been working for that, like, Unfortunately, my father-in-law had died, and I had to be in Pennsylvania then. But I, you know, I just I I kind of did not believe what was happening before my eyes, and I've never dealt with people so mean. If we can limit the number of questions to one per article, I think it'll do a lot for that. Too. Well, you and you have, article? but you have to in that per person per in that caveat, yeah, one you have person. to say one rebuttal. If something somebody says something to what it is first said. That person should have a chance to answer. But beyond that, I agree with you. So the question becomes: yep. What happens if people don't uh, play by the rules? Then, like if we say one question, one rebuttal, and they keep, oh, what easy. happens? They will then, be removed from the meeting. Yeah. They, they uh, can be as a matter of fact. But according to what Bernie yeah, just they, gave us, um, I mean, we have to be can, very careful can he about that. At the end, we, we spent a long me and him and Ron spent a long time together after the meeting, which was wonderful, out in the parking lot. And Kenny thought there were two times in the meeting that I was actually going to throw somebody out. <laughs> that he was going to have to escort somebody out. That is not off my radar to my fault. You would have had a lot of support. Ad I I know, that. Admitting to my fault, I have tried very hard in my older life especially to remind myself that it, whether I'm the moderator or the president of some you know, pool, sportsman, I'm, I'm that, not a dictator. So I try to give people the extra 
I am more than prepared to not do that in the future because this town meeting has taught me I may need to be a little more like what's going on in my mind, not how I use the mics. You can cut off the mic also. Yeah, that's Good. true. But it, but also I want to say to, to Phil's point about like you know like we don't have to answer these questions, but, but we, we do. do. And I think we should. And and I, I think, think in too. anticipation, like we know what kinds of questions we're going to get. We always know that someone's going to ask how many hours are on that machine, how much money have you spent, you know, and and that and the guide that you that you put out. I, you know, I was like, it's right there. Like, you know how much money we spent in repairs over the past three years. I know, but to Jimmy's point earlier, you know, it would have been better to to have, for, the, for something like capital improvements, which is a big decision, it's always a lot of money, people are always nervous right. about voting to spend money. Am I willing to do a free town meeting type of thing for just for the capital improvements articles in advance? Sure. Well, but I mean, I'm saying like that specifically, like we didn't know how many, I mean, you know, Ron knew off, offhand, but we didn't have that information. Right. But, and, and specifically related to capital improvements, because I it is, um, uh, what's Betsy's husband's name? Potter. Dave, Dave. Dave. Yeah. Where, you know, he said that he'd, he'd put this this plan together. I know. I was like, well, I don't <laughs> know about it. <laughs> and, and my understanding is that we have tried in the past to have, like, basically to pass a capital improvements plan so that we don't have to have these contentious fights. Every year, well, you still have to I vote on it, even if you have right. Even and, if you have right. and that's my understanding schedule. is that people have shot down like the ten-year purchasing plan because they don't want to, you know, make that commitment, mm -hmm. which I get. But I mean, like, let's since, since we know what people are going to ask, how many hours? Like, when was the last time you purchased this? You know, who? Like, we can we can kind of anticipate a lot of these questions. No, yeah, and we did. But and I think with yeah, we right, yeah. Did, did. yeah, you had yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. you were yeah. prepared. I think with, with the chart that was brought up, um, I think it's a very good thing to use as a tool, not to, don't throw anything at me, Jimmy, just kidding, but a piece of paper we could put on their chair. <laughs> <laughs> Necessarily, no, but, I, so the, but, but we, but so that we but at least have guide. it in front of us. That's a guide, so, right. so that so that so the, we can answer right. the questions. So the, and we can say it's yeah. on the website. It's available. Right. Like we know what questions they're going to ask right. us, and we have those answers right there. But the people I think that should know, know that there is one that the capital improvement exactly. has, and that these are the pieces of equipment that are coming up on the schedule that the capital improvement committee works on. Well, we've already done this yeah. because of town meeting in 2008. I put it up on the web on the highway website and it does nothing. No, I'm sorry. This, people just use things as an excuse. They're there to say no. I'm sorry. So there's tr there's truth to that. There's and very truth and, 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 and that's I, why they got angry. And 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 you know I, I thought a lot so first of all, the, the, the reason for the length of the, the, four, the four capital highway requests, I think each one of them were, was like close to a half an hour of each. So like that, 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 that was like a two hour chunk of time, just yeah. those four. Sure. Se second of all, um, a new pickup truck is the hardest thing to get past at our town meeting for the deck for the 15 years that I've been here. Oh uh, yeah. Front frontier. The the, the 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 new pickup truck requests that have so, gone down in flames. So Phil, you've frontier. said that before. So what does that mean? Don't put it up. No. I don't know no. I I, I, I I think I'm not saying that. It's, it's a hard sell. It's, it's, it's a hard, it's a hard sell. sell. And 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 I know it's and, a hard and, sell. and I think hi, okay. First of all, it wasn't I, for the fire department. Yeah, I, I don't know. understand no, that. That was a used was truck. Used. That yeah. was a, that was a used, used truck. The fifty thousand dollars he could have bought a brand new one. I don't understand. <laughs> it was it was forty. I'm months. sorry. This is so frustrating. But it's the highway department has a huge target on its back because of the size of the chunk that it is of the budget. Correct. Correct. The schools already. People would say, yeah, you know, it is what it is. The school, you know, and we want good schools or whatever. But a highway is a whole other deal. And when you're confronted with piece after piece, and given, you know. Item might have cost thirty thousand years ago, not too many years ago. Now it's seventy-five thousand. It it goes up there, and it's it literally freaks people out. That's that's one thing. There's we have this. The, the other part of the highway department is there's numbers of people in the town who think they do similar work or whatever, and it's like no, I know that it should be this or it should be that, and so you're dealing with that. And I think Ron generally knows this stuff and really it should just you know be water off your back to a certain extent 
Um, what, I, what I would say is that we have failed, and the Capital Improvements Committee, I would say, has failed to, uh, to adequately do a real re uh, ROI on some of this stuff. Like even this chart here that was on there, it doesn't have the maintenance column well, Do you want for, to take that on? And, what's that? Do you want to take that on for the stuff that's going to come I, up? I'm not saying time? I want to take it on. I'm saying, I, I, I mean, these are the problems. We're a tiny little town yeah. and so we're I, being I, asked I, I to do things so, like, uh, I could, like I a Westwood. I could have put whatever, that information on there, but I didn't want to overload people with information. Yeah. And these are rented items, right? So the maintenance cost is internal to Ron's team. It just takes a lot from man hours. So you can't really put in there about, oh, it's going to cost this much. You're using a rented, used piece of equipment. People were asking me what the maintenance would be on a brand new piece of equipment. Oh, hell, how am I supposed to know, know that? that? I, it's brand new. I understand. <laughs> what, what, what we're what we're expecting to know it. <laughs> the capital did, in their sheets, said what the last three years of them yes, we yes. equipment yes. were for maintenance. We I mean, yes. what more do you want? Receipts, Ron, they want No matter receipts. what you <laughs> have, the people that are asking no. those questions would not be yeah. satisfied. They wouldn't because be. Because they, they, they were on a headhunt. Yes. And they, they were done. Well, and they would dispute all you the maintenance figures is, is what they would is do. Is <laughs> defend the recommendation that you make with the facts. Correct. You gave I them the facts. You know, I think part of the question is, when the gentleman that was here earlier, he may have been alluding to this, when he said, how did this get approved? And I was thinking, does he mean, why do these, why do these committees keep telling us, recommending to spend this money? Did no. anybody else he, get he that? Wanted, he said that, that because he it? wanted an individual name he could go after mm, okay. that approved that beyond Ron. Okay. No, he was, okay. he was, he right. thought I he he I, I was, but that. if you were, he was, was looking for the next name up the list. That was the parent. Well, that's a, that illustrates to me a, a misconception about how the town functionally works. He has yeah, no idea how the town. I think a lot of people. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure he does. Mm -hmm. He plays it. He does. It. Well, I I think I mean, he knows how business works. I don't think he does that at all myself. <laughs> I don't think well, he does. Like his mind. I mean, it's, what he was saying at town right meetings. But he, you know, but he does. He, you know, and I, I'm impressed that he came here. He had details. Yeah. And so he has because that questions. differs much from coming to town meeting and opening an attack in front of the citizens. Well, he tried it, but it didn't work. Right. But I mean, that's not the first time that's happened. He asked he, that same question at town meeting. Yep. Can I ask you a different question? Yeah. I, I mean, I, uh, so one of the things that we've always done that I really like about Conway is that we put money aside, save it up, and then and then buy things with it that we are going to need in the future. An example is a fire truck. Right. And I always and, and I always felt people were more willing to spend that kind of money that's coming out of reserve funds or stabilization funds than, be, out, of than, a, than out of money. The most terrible thing you can, free again, cash. Free cash, right. But, you know. but, but <laughs> what, what if we stopped putting money in the stabilization funds we did this and thing. we went back to the way went we back to all we need is a 50% vote to, to buy the equipment. We would have won all four. four uh, I think we well, well yeah, yeah, we had majorities on we had majority is on all four. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, it, we, it's like there wouldn't have been enough free, there's not enough free cash. Well, there isn't now, but he's saying if, if over you didn't put years, it all in stabilization, you know, stabilization or individual funds, but, saving but then, it, then there's all sorts of you know other needs and purposes that would get directed to. When yeah. so that first started, yeah. everything came from free credit. Right. Yes. Well, what if, so we have a, a hot, we have a fire truck stabilization fund, right? Yes. What, what if we just had like a highway equipment stabilization That's fund? That's basically what it is. That's what our stabilization well, capital but, is. But, but well, many but years, we no, put $150,000 in the stabilization fund, and then we asked to take $150,000 out of the stabilization right. fund to buy a, and we a truck. <laughs> and we can't, because we can't get two thirds. Well, but what if we, what well, if we call it a highway? I mean, like, I think capital, that's, that seems very generic. It's very, like, yeah, well, we could spend that capital on something else. But what if, what if it was specifically for the highway department? Like, specifically for? Pretty much is. It is. But it's, I, I understand saying, it is. But it's but stabilization it's fund. fund. Yeah. Handcuffs that it does. We know it's still two thirds, but I I, I under what you're, it's a framing of what if the we money say, is if for. This is specifically.
absolutely for the like we know that we're going to need to buy more highway equipment so we could have it keep a separate capital stabilization fund for any other for the fire we truck we build it up over many years right. we have a big slug of money but but for the trucks we spend you know we spend out of the stabilization funds what we you know what what hasn't been saved for very long well, usually we, we like spend a year. out of it if we can but if but if, if there's if there's a reluctance to spend out of that because it's not <coughs> Uh, but, we have, but right now, it's not just highway, highway right? right now. I understand. It also understood. includes fire vehicles, police vehicles, it's those things. Too. Yeah, well, it's a check and it's, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think it's a bad. It's thing. a necessary check and balance. Yeah. I know, but I'm just, I'm just saying, call it like the, the, the highway. <laughs> well, we one, one of the one Some of the one of the structural that. weaknesses, though, and and it what what leads to closer votes than other towns might have is the fact how many how many houses are on Route 116. How many people look at the highway department budget as something that only really benefits their friends and neighbors that do not live on Route 116? Um, no, that, that is a thing. I hear, I hear it a lot. I, I, I don't. Uh, yeah. that, that, yeah. uh, there are more people in town that don't live on 116. <laughs> yeah, right. There are more people, but, but there, there is enough that that makes a difference and, and that makes for closer votes. Like It's why you start out closer to 50-50 on an all things highway department capital than you would think otherwise. And, and, and like, where do all these no votes come from? And I can it, tell you where a lot of them came from. They got up and left. Yeah, there were 60 and, of them. And none of them lived on 116 that I saw. I think most people actually don't even know that the state takes care of 116. I believe you're absolutely correct. Yeah. <laughs> I could say the same about fire. The fire, you know, the fire department only effectively serves half the town. The folks on the outliers, you know, I don't have a kid. What's that? Schools. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. I've heard that throughout my entire life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, when we paid for that person's kid, everybody only yeah, paid yeah, taxes yeah. for their things that are in their personal interest. It's, Nothing would get. I, 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 before I lose this thought, I gotta say this: when we were talking about answering questions and how it's nice to answer questions, I just wanted to say when you guys first moved to town. Did your neighbors all a answer the questions you had about town? Yeah, of course. And did that make you feel like yeah. part of town enough yeah. to actually like be on boards and stuff? Yeah. Oh, so you're taking credit for us being <laughs> on the boards? <laughs> I am not. I, I am saying answering of questions when people have questions Absolutely. is one of the most wonderful things in the world. Yeah. So that's what we do and in pre-town meetings. Meeting. We should, as Conway, as as the people who how we set the example. Mm -hmm. We should answer questions whenever we can. It, I, 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 I'm it's just the, when we get into these extended back and forth, yeah. you know, just you know, discussions yeah. that aren't directed at the board. Even they're directed between so, two individuals yeah. in the audience. Right. So so can, people, can I just say something? Up in prior town meetings, meeting, um, well. I think there was perhaps more hands up to be recognized, and the moderator had full discretion to ignore some of them. And I don't think we had that in this town, in this meeting. We, we had a handful, a sprinkling of hands that went up at any sort of point. It's true, and I try not to. <laughs> There's two ways you can put this. I try to recognize everybody and give everybody a chance, mm -hmm. but sometimes you fully know you're giving somebody the chance to turn people off of them. Yeah. So maybe uh, like uh, from what Jimmy's saying and what Phil had said earlier about feeling more like a family, mm -hmm. close-knit family, is that we can just go through the line next time of who we are, what, where we live, and what committee Oh, for on. Elizabeth sitting up front. With a that smile on to, your face. That occurred to me too. Like yeah, a smile on your face. Thank you both why, for coming. Why are you sitting up yes. front? Oh, I, 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 well, <laughs> well, <laughs> that makes it even, even when somebody approaches them, if I know them, and I introduce them, I know that has a difference. Yeah, that I makes also, a difference. Veronique, I also think, I know we don't need something official like this, but I would have been per perfectly happy to have a placard in front of me with my well, name on it. Yeah, you know, we were talk talking about, about that a little yeah. earlier. So what I'll do for the next time, because I'm absolutely loving having capital and finance and select board all up there. Yeah. And on the on the curtains in the front, I'll put finance oh, sure. committee. Mm -hmm. 
Capital Improvements Committee. Well, so we could just introduce ourselves too. I mean, I really well, we should do that as well. Probably. Yeah, I got criticized. Name cards are good. We could do name cards too. It's good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good for your name and We can do it in every MBA class that I've. I'm great for that. This year. Yeah, no, I will definitely do that. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> but uh, apart from all that, I just want to say, Barney forwarded us um, suggestions from Mary McClintock. Right. There were a couple other people, and they were all like uh, an excellent. Uh, like I say, I, I read Mary's and thought I wrote them myself. Yeah. I disagreed with one, so I did, so if we can talk about oh, that. One? So that was you know it said Mary said that that Jimmy should give a short explanation for each warrant article. I, I and would would you do you know the warrant articles or would we expect the moderator to know somebody? The okay, this is what what my takeaway from the morning to the afternoon was is that Chris was right in trying to say well you, you have too much repetition going. I was reading the warrant article, but then there came a warrant article when I didn't read it, mm -hmm. and he said as written in the warrant. <laughs> When it, if it came time for the motion, well, then none of those people really heard what the Warren article was. But that, that was a, a, a planning board thing, though, where, you know, two paragraphs. Well, I, I agree, but you could give them, I could give them a synopsis. I'm just saying for each Warren article, there should be some, you know, brief synopsis of what it means. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, no, no. Yes. Means this and yeah. no means this. Yeah. But should okay. should Phil do that or should you do that? That that, that was what well, I mean. Phil it, reads the motion. It doesn't matter. Phil makes the motion. Yes. Oh, oh. Or uh, anyway, yeah. make yeah. The it motion. doesn't right. matter as long as somebody does it. Yes. If I yes. have to do it, I have no problem with doing that, obviously. Okay. So I thought I thought the way that it was flowing the second half of the thing um, it was, was beautiful. Was, and and basically I, I was reading the motion and then um, Jimmy would ask if any, any, anybody want an explanation. Most yeah. of the time, somebody from somebody just said, "Yeah, yeah, well, yeah but, but yeah. not." But but there was like a good handful where nobody want no. Everybody was fine. We yeah. went right to a vote. Exactly. So and, when, and you, when, when they, we do that, and it when works. They, when yeah. they did want an explanation, I just leaned into the microphone and I basically read from the warrant light. Yeah. And, no, no, um, from the motions. No, 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 um, and that was uh, that went fast. We we actually did. We did the second half. We did two more articles than we did overall in the first yeah. half in less than one hour by two minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that I keep score. <laughs> that, that's slightly different than what Mary wrote. So that's why I just wanted to bring this up. Is how, how did we want to structure? I, I thought it was a great I, idea. I thought that that second half was a kind of a good way yeah. to go. Like yeah, I would. Was, the, the other I like Mary's stuff very no, much. I did too. But. In short of her, me giving a preamble of how town meeting works, I would like that instructional guide yeah. to go out because I don't think I need to do that. I think it worked well. I, I think agree. the point that Bob's getting at, which I agree with, is we can't expect the moderator to know every substance of every single article. Right. True. Right. I agree with that. Especially in retirement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. And I would just like to say once again, this was our first town meeting without Malcolm Force. Oh. So is it any wonder? <laughs> I think it was him getting us back. I know. I, 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 I could hear Malcolm like, do you miss I, me? I've you know? known Malcolm my entire life, and I guarantee you he was grinning from ear to ear. Going, uh, <laughs> so he was like in the room stirring it up? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm good with that. Yeah. Cool. So I did have one other thing, too. And that was the date of the meeting. So. You know, we have switched it to Saturdays, but I still have a lot of people say to me, geez, my Saturdays are really special. I want, you know, if we could do a quick meeting, seven to nine o'clock on a Monday night. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing. Well, there is, but there is going to be a question. Seven to 10. Um, there's a non-binding question well, on we the have, we can we get it here. We, get out. we can't, the school, the school will not, cannot do daycare on weeknights. The te right. Their teachers are yeah. just not available for that. Okay, well, um, this, okay, if we're talking about date of town meeting, I got some. Yeah, we got to go I back to May what, or something. Did you hear right? what Oh, no. I, there's, there's, there's a non-binding question on the ballot on Thursday about when um, about when we should schedule town meeting. Jonathan has a question. Uh, well, actually, it's more of a comment from Matt Katz's <laughs> perspective. It would be the first weekend of June is the day after graduation. Yes. Yeah, we noticed and that. <laughs> there's also Memorial Day beforehand, and we were sort of running on empty. It would be a little bit more convenient for me and my staff if we could do it on a Saturday, maybe in May, 
Okay. Beforehand. This is what I, this is my addition to the Saturday discussion. The only people, if we, okay, the slowest time of year here for, and I'm saying this because I have grandchildren, and so I know a lot of younger people with kids, end of March, beginning of April are the only that look those Saturdays are the dead time year except for and I'm saying this because I respect these people incredibly Howard Boyden and Chris Herman because they're going to be sugary but beyond that most people have the slowest time of their lives the end of March beginning of April especially younger people and if as you go I'm telling you these poor parents about Saturday's meeting, they got two different kids at two different ages at two different baseball games. That we're yeah. never going to get them to you come to town. School, school vacation week in April, right? People go away. People go away, so you're not going to have people around then. And the, from a budget, putting the budget to get together perspective, you don't have any information by then. Yeah. We couldn't have the word produced by then to have any realistic numbers. Well, the, the other thing about being so late is we have no say in the Frontier Regional School District. Mm -hmm. Right, and, but if we did it to. not have their budgets finished up until yeah we don't even get those yeah, until everybody the votes before us as long as the other three towns vote before us we have no stand yeah you there. can't do it in march you, you can't there. do march yeah, yeah. april april is well, theoretical. that's that's all i was just adding yeah. that a not, april is theoretically not demanding anything memorial day. that's what i want the weekend before memorial day would be ideal because that we would have enough time us. to put together <laughs> the to have finance and everybody do the budgets. We have a lot of work that has to be done. Yeah, yeah you're all over every single budget, Saturday. as we all know. From <laughs> well, this. yeah, I didn't miss that. Yeah, you know the, set, the soundboard. You know, there were many times I was looking for sound on my mic, and he was looking somewhere else. <laughs> and he was, he, but he was gas. And I understand that because I was at graduation the night before with it. But it's just, just yeah. It showed. But we could put, we could put something a suggestion on, um, what would work for us so we can help contribute and make sure you guys get the coverage. It's a bylaw. Yeah. It's yeah. A, you have to change the bylaw because yeah. we're definitely yeah. having a December town meeting. Definitely. I've, I've heard that. And so many people have said, we just had a town meeting with 35 articles. Why are we having another town meeting in December? <laughs> Mostly like, to, to deal with the bridge right away so we have to get done. I'm only told what to do. Yeah. But so at December town meeting, we could put. Um, a bylaw change on about. But you know, I I did look into like I, the, the the number of people that everybody has an opinion about the day of town meeting. Oh, when when, when, sure. when it was on weeknights, everybody wanted to switch to the weekend. When oh, it's on sure. weekends, everybody wants to switch to the weekend. And the the one thing that I that I did take a look at, like the historical bad decisions that were made. By bad decisions <laughs> being made at town meeting, I'm referring to big ex big expensive. It purchases or expenditures that proved to be pointless, useless, and very regrettable. And I'm referring to like when uh, right after we voted down the new highway facility, we uh, two first hours time. right the first time the first time the, um, two hours later at 11:30 we voted to do the engineering. and the, uh, with thinking that maybe but when the engineering's done the next year we would vote for the but the next year we voted down the project again. So there was like a hundred, that was like a hundred and something thousand. That was that a for, Monday night? That was a Monday night and, and, and it was at 1130. Right. And, and we would spend, we would spend like two hours arguing about whether to buy or lease the, the $5,000 office copier. And then the end of the meeting, we would say yes to the $150,000 study that was pointless and futile. And uh, because everybody wanted to get out of there. I did, I did. 25 to 30 years of marking the warrant on how long it took in minutes for each article. And I have proven unequivocally to myself, the later it got, we took less than a minute mm -hmm. per warrant article, no yeah. matter what it was. Yeah. Because Sorry. after 10 o'clock, people only were concerned about getting the hell out of there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and that later. No, and, I, I, and we kept starting the meeting later as time was on because people don't show up when you start, which I already hit on Saturday. And I'm telling you, if we start meeting when it says on the paper we start and people miss it a couple times, the start, they'll start coming on time. Right. 
So do we have any other suggestions on process, or are you all going to have a history lesson? Just the whole time. <laughs> oh, no, well, no, I mean, that, that, this is part of the Was that sarcastic? Because was that sarcastic? Sarcastic, <laughs> sarcastic <laughs> seems to be <laughs> yeah. Chris Waldo's special. Thank you for keeping it real. <laughs> but the, 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 you know, the, 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 the question about what day works best is, you know, if the goal is only to get things passed, um, it's night. It, it, it might be at night, but I think that that is, uh, you know, most of those end up to be like pyrrhic victories. Like, you know, you, it costs too much for those victories. It costs credibility and the, 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 the feeling that you're all, that everybody up there at the front of the room are a bunch of idiots and putting this nonsense out before us and da 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 da. And I but think. Isn't it also true when I walked in there on Saturday, I saw all those people there. I thought that was great. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was awesome too. That's yeah, awesome. oh no, not not a. You know, we were we and we were darn close to two thirds on on those two votes. Yeah, yeah. we were fifty nine percent and sixty percent. Yeah, on those on those two votes. Yeah. So, it so it's doable, and it, yeah. it, it, um, just, you know, it, it took it those took it took two, it took two tries for the wood chipper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, You know, sometimes oh. repetition and is the right take. funding and the right funding mechanism. But. Yes. Um, and, and, and four, four, four was never going to happen. All four was never going to happen in this town. <coughs> and I thought two was actually two. And, and a new pickup yeah, truck, I, like I said, new pickup truck just is uh, like that's like the holy grail, and I don't know if it's achievable. Yeah. And so I, um, as a select board, what do you propose that I do I, for what that truck does? See you know, how I'm not able to. It's going to be something that's. Um, going to be expected to be used for more than it's going to be capable of. Well, I, I mean, actually, I was, I would, I had that thought during the meeting. I was like, what happens when this truck literally dies right. on Ron and we, and like, it, 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 well, and, and I don't know, that's, that was kind just, of like Just so you know, the um, donated truck is dead and out of service now. Um, so, yeah. so now I'm down a truck on top of it and I, so I, I would like to know what, uh, how I'm supposed to deal with, and because I, my problem is I have three people that can't drive a CDL at the moment, and I don't have enough trucks. You can only do the amount of services so what based do I on do? the amount Park of people. Somebody at the garage and have them. Is it there? I think you can <laughs> get that right. You can only do the services right. on, with based on the people and correct. you have. Right. Mm -hmm. So and what you have in hand yeah. is all right. you can so do. But what do I do with the employee? Because I don't have enough. So Ron, from my oh. perspective, at December town meeting, going back with those two. Oh, better so argument, better. The, the people of town already are tuned into that. They said, oh, we'll see these at the December town meeting. Good. After that already. Great. Fantastic. Oh, uh, they didn't say it. I mean, that's just not going away. You can only <laughs> kick the See, can down the road so far. Uh, I've dealt with yeah. it in the past. It's just that it's a piece of equipment that is like the lifeline. It's vital. Yeah, it's more than vital. And, and I mean, I, it is probably one of the most important things. I think we should. Uh, are we allowed to accept donated trucks? I already donated one. No, no, no. Oh, I'm are we allowed to donate. accept donated trucks from anybody else in the town? Oh, who, who in town has a? I'm not saying anybody would even do that. I, you know, that, I, I, are we allowed to start and I, I think the the okay. answer to Ron's question, though, I, to, for, for me, is that the town repeatedly over like the decades that I've been going has a clear preference for used vehicles whenever possible, and the and. and, and whether or not it makes fiscal sense, no matter what data you have, whatever. <coughs> the pi pickup truck is something that everybody feels that they know about. But it's not a pickup truck. Uh, I, it's a work truck. It's a work truck. It's not a $50,000. I'm trying to explain how I see town meeting voting. I, this is, I, I voted yes for that. But, um, but the, 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 the thing is that like, you, you're asking people that themselves that you know, had to buy a used pickup truck when they wanted so a new you gonna give? What, what do you suggest we spend for a used truck? You spent fifty thousand dollars for a fire truck that you could buy a brand new one for forty seven thousand. Did the did the town buy that truck? Is it town's truck? Yeah. Which one? 
The fire truck? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, Bob Baker's fire truck. Can you what its purpose is? We, we approved it at town meeting. Well, last meeting. It's to put it in a real purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see what you're no. saying, but he and can't use it. the point of an emergency. Right. It doesn't, right. And it doesn't meet Ron's need anyway. Right. That's my whole point. We're not going to go out and buy a used one. I don't understand. And during capital improvement meetings, we've researched used vehicles, and they're as they're as expensive as new ones now. That's the current vehicle market. Yeah, we get it. We get it. So I'm not saying any what's right. I'm not saying what's wrong. I don't even know. But the the what I'm saying is that you know the the wood chipper in the December meeting when when people when there was. There was a middle vote there that was up for grabs, and that vote was, in, in my opinion, was aligned with getting a used chipper, and it didn't meet what, whatever. Like I thought that there was an opportunity there. So we but, but but I know I know you didn't want, a, and and that's it's your. It, I'm not saying that that I'm not saying that you were wrong in saying no. I'm saying what was achievable in that meeting and what wasn't, and what was achievable in that meeting was a used chipper. And um, it, what we waited till now, and and they voted for a new chipper. Right. But so that and, and I think it's the same thing with the pickup truck. I, I and maybe uh, maybe in the in when you ask for it next time, it, it'll you, you were close this time. You'll get closer. Are we going to have money not coming out of the stabilization fund? To so buy free free cash gets certified. It, it will be certified by September. And because we left $146,000 in there, but we didn't put in the capital, yeah. we kind of left, we Good. gave ourselves, well, we, we, did that, <laughs> we did that on purpose because, you know, it's a little bit of a frantic year with the amount of inflation that's going on. We just right. didn't know what might hit us between now and the December meeting. We wanted to have something, you know. I think Jimmy's right. If we do that and continue to do that, the uproar is going to be... Yeah. Definitely. You mean using free cash instead? No, I, I think it should go through the capital stabilization. That's what that's what that's for. Well, I like the idea of changing the name to highway. We also have a general stabilization, so we could do other things out of general, but use the there, there's change all, capital I, of the I highway. I think the uproar that Chris was referring to was the uproar that will come if you just, whatever they vote no on, you just bring back every six months. To free cash. And, and, and people, yep. you know, no, but, be, uh, like, uh, because cash. we sit there, we say, come yeah. to town meeting because your vote counts. But we don't want it to be a corollary that oh your vote only counts if you vote in accordance or in agreement with what we want. So I that, do like, totally agree. With that, that would require no. uh, creating the new stabilization fund. I think well it would yes you're right you're right a, a, you're, a you're absolutely article right. Town meeting so we'd have to do that. <clears throat> you're absolutely right. Okay. But we and could say would, and then you would have to designate a certain amount that was being transferred correct. into yeah. that stabilization yeah. fund. Correct. But does that solve Ron's problem of, of of what he does between no, now no, and now. No, he doesn't solve the problem at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but like, as a practical matter, I mean, that's literally We have no question, solution like, because town meeting didn't vote okay. for it, so we yeah. have no funds to expend that's because the problem. they didn't that, agree yeah. that's, that's the problem. What is achievable isn't yeah. what is desired. Or what is... Yeah. Um, well, he's, he's, he's got, he's got like, people on staff that he can't use for services because, or he's, his, you know, he's got to rejigger his schedule all around because he doesn't have a vehicle that they can drive. My hope is we can get a majority vote to, for, to buy the truck with free cash in December. And actually, I mean, I, that's one strategy. I, to did, do this. I did want to say to your point, I, I think, I mean, I've heard the history of the highway facility 45 years in the making. That certainly kept going back and back and back. Because, yeah, that's God. You know, so I think, I think the town is used to. Hearing things being repeated. <laughs> we're we're, we're famous among re, among area towns for being super fiscally conservative. We really are. We're famous, uh, it, especially capital stuff. Yeah. Like we're yeah. famous for voting yes on school budgets and no on all capital stuff. Oh, you know, and most like, towns in Massachusetts are like that. We came from a really affluent town. They were the same way. And that's just, you know, and everybody always asks how many Thank hours. Thank God, Ron's <laughs> stuck in that. And it. And I, you know, I get it. I get it that it, he feels stuck in that. It's no, but it's it's also you know it's trying to just grin and bear it, do the best that you can. And I don't know what the, well, you no know other what? things to say. It's I, like I, I, I can throw this out there. There are special town meetings. If something comes up and Ron is in a situation and the town is in a real pickle because he doesn't have the equipment, you could call a special town meeting specifically. But you're having one in December. 
But aside, you can yeah, call a special yeah. town meeting anytime. We can. So and you need 25 people, right? Yeah. Correct. For a quorum, yep. Right. So it, it's good all your. We have the back of the I mean, well, it, every it, all it of us would be, you know, I mean, you hate to do that. <laughs> oh yeah. But if we got to that place where something were desperate, yeah, we'll we do it. have the option yeah. of doing a special town meeting. Yeah. And I mean, okay. The other, so the last part about this is that how do we make sure there, there's a, a wide-ranging discussion, a bunch of ideas or a bunch of suggestions. How do we make sure that these are integrated into the, our next meeting rather than just talked about now and then sort of set aside and up to each of us to sort of remember as best Important. we can? Next town meeting? Yeah. I was well, gonna, Adam is like, taking well, very yeah, I, I, right, right, I, I, right. But, 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 but um, so my, you know, my suggestion would be that we reconvene this yes. discussion yes. The, like the week before the next town meeting, oh, or, I think that's or, or, close. or a month or, before, or yeah. a month before, a month, a month before. before, and um, and and you know, th these were because our memories. I know my memory will be completely shot by then about all this stuff, um, and uh, well, I'm gonna. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to go home and write an outline okay. of the stuff we talked about to do better at town meeting. Because and I, I, for capital improvements, I've already made a commitment that capital improvements will do its own version of pre-town meeting as for educational purposes. I've already made that commitment. So. Sweet. I don't think we're all going to forget all the things that we just discussed. No, and we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll mostly no, writing them up. So I think between I, all I of our lists, <laughs> but I was going to propose the same thing that we get together against yeah. because we're going to need a refresher. Yeah. And by then we'll probably have gotten more ideas because as people talk to us, we just keep just keep throwing those yeah, ideas. Nelson, at Nelson apparently has stuff he wants yeah. to say. He just couldn't be here tonight. Yeah. I got that. And there's others too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So between Adam and I, we'll kind of keep a, um, a going list of all the suggestions that come in. And yeah. yeah. That would be great. Um, and How do you officially end? Yeah, so we can, they have other business to we can move on to the, we can move on <laughs> to the next item hours. on the agenda. Okay. But, um, we have hours. Poland Road, yeah. we didn't have farms in this yeah. culture. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's no, Bye. there were no votes taken. Right? Yeah, you know, I vote to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the commitment to execute. I'm in this. Go. Go. Only my lifetime. Go. Longer than that. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Thank God, Melvin. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If I had a trunk to donate, I would. If I had a trunk, I'd give it to you. I mean, we got to sign all these yeah, for real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. Yep. That's what I told you. Yeah. I'm thrilled. Thank you. It's not. So Phil, I do need to let you know that we did not receive the packet from Eversource, so we're going to have to table the scheduling the poll hearing. Oh yeah, 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 and and actually the same thing with the RFP from the FERCOG, That's not going to be here till the twentieth. So two items are tabled already because they're we're not available. When you get to the lot, stipends, I'm signing these, okay. can you just read this yes. list out? Can okay. I just give you a point of order real quick? If you're signing the stipends, please don't sign your own. Too oh. late. It's okay. <laughs> cross it out. Yeah, cross it out, please. Okay. I didn't even. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not my name, but I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, all right. So, do you want me to make the motion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so I would like to move uh, to make um, annual appointments for boards, committees, and commissions. Um, so for reappointments for boards and committees with the term ending on June 30th, 2023. Uh, Peter Friesen, Cemetery Commission. Michaela Archambault, Community and Economic Development Committee. Amy Anderson, Community Preservation Commission. Michelle Sanger, Cultural Council. Suzanne Artemy. Forest and Trails, Priscilla Lynch, Forest and Trails, Laura Nichols Shaw, Historical Commission, Julia Stone, Historical Commission, Patricia Lynch, Newsletter Committee, Kathy Lamas, Newsletter Committee, Mac McCoy, Open Space Committee, Michael Merritt, Parks and Recreation, Ron Sweet, Public Buildings, Gary Fenton, 
Zoning Board of Appeals. So I move that we make these three appointments um, with the term ending on June 30th. No, their terms end June 30th, 2023, so it's for, for, 26. for 26. 26. So for terms ending June 30th, 2026, sorry. Second your motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll just note that there's still vacancies for Cable Advisory Committee, one seat, Capital Improvements, one seat, Community Economic Development, one seat, Community Preservation, two seats, Conservation Commission, one seat, Newsletter, one seat, Open Space, two seats, Parks and Recreation, one seat, Personnel, three seats, and Zoning Board of Appeals, one seat. So there's no motion there. And Agricultural Commission, there is five seats, and Housing, there are three seats, and <laughs> Thank and you, the Lord. sustainability committee, I forgot to add two, has five seats as well. Yep. All right. Um, so there, they we just dis discuss the memorandum of understanding with the transfer of uh, council of government for RFP assistance. No, that, that we're tabling that's because okay, we Okay, so we're tabling that and we're but tabling But we do have the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District MOU. Yeah. So that's right here and tell us why that's a good thing. Because they haul away our <laughs> recycling. And this is, so they take care of all the, all the contracting um, for all the materials at the transfer station. Okay. So and this, we do this every we year? We do this every year. We have to sign yeah. this contract yeah. every year. 50 for per mattress? Sorry? It's $50 per mattress? Yeah, yeah, these are the prices that have gone up. Correct. That's oh, what they're, man. that, it was 25 last 30. year. 30. 30 last 30. year. 30, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of new. I know. But do you have a motion to sign that? Um, this is why we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so. exactly. Any other? Yeah, um, we're supposed to sign it. Do we have any alternatives? Can we do it ourselves? Can Veronica do it all for us? <laughs> I don't have my CDL anymore. Sorry. <laughs> we well, neither does anybody else in this town. Maybe we, 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 we can get run a garbage truck instead of you can. <laughs> no, we can use the uh, mattresses for guardrails. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're getting Just punched. Out. The <laughs> all right. That's, that's pretty funny. Um, that's not a bad. <laughs> the only thing I will say about this is that Jan has been doing this for a long time and she, just like Ron, does everything she can to get I, yes, the I, lowest cost possible. So I know it's a shock, but it's still... That is a shock. Yeah. But that's, but we're not, I mean, we're not paying, I mean, individuals have to pay that fee, right? They pay that to us if they want to dispose of a mattress, correct? And no, this is the fee we're charged. Yeah. So we're so we're only charging people thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah, we need to change that. If, but to be honest with you, ninety nine percent of the mattresses should be going somewhere else. They have to be really, really bad but to, to be accepted at our transfer station right. as trash. That's what I thought. This yeah. is this is the. I, I, um, so I'm gonna make a motion that we sign it. Second. All in favor? Aye. These are the two ones that we're supposed to sign. Everybody, just go back. Sick. Yeah. That. There's another one. It's another copy of it. <coughs> this one is for her. Oh, yeah, two for her. Right, one for us. One for her. Yeah. The last uh, new business is got it. Is uh, schedule a date for the closing bid for the closed bid. Well, actually, we have. I'm sorry, we have the MOU. I'm sorry, the final mock-up. I just want to make sure you're good with with this trash sticker. You know, well, I have it's to not my problem. I, I, I wanted a bigger sticker. It's okay. I mean, it's, we're, 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 we can pay more money, but I, I, I want to get this. Last time, I want to okay. get this to Jan so that she can order them, so I can have them on hand for our September first. I like the covered bridge. Yeah, it'll good. be a slightly different. Um, she's trying to find another bag that will show. What she had told me was that the problem with um, what you had said was that the problem with having it on the neck was that if they are holding it that way, the transfer station attendants can't see it. Then she said to me, well, yeah, but if you don't say it has to be on the top of the bag, then they put it underneath or they pretend they had it there and they said, you know. So th she wanted it at the top of the bag so that the attendants can see it. This one's a color. You can see the little orange. Oh, there. yeah. I mean, I, I think I, either way, I mean, I think it's just going to be, that's the answer yeah. station attendants are going to have to, you know, 
you know, work it. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah. Right, but so that's what she was suggesting, top of the bag. You know, yeah, top is, yeah, I mean. That's instead of on the handle, yeah. yeah. So, um, yep, so if that is good with you, and I don't know why it got cut off. There's something with those, okay. the margins. Yeah, it doesn't. Don't, I've tried it on two different people. And then what was the other thing that was on here? Yeah, so it was just whether this mock-up was okay with you and whether or not the placement of the bag stickers was fine. So then. That looked to, yeah. So I make a motion that we accept the, the transfer station stickers as presented, assuming that this part at the top. Yeah. Okay. So moved. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Sorry about that. It's okay. Derail you there. The, the auction off of Ashfield Road, off of Poland Road, the, is what we need to schedule the date for the closed bid auction. Mm -hmm. For the $5,000 yeah, yeah. yeah. base price. So Lori and I spoke about this earlier. What, what I would very much like to do, because it's a Conway piece of land and Conway selling it, is have it in the Conway Currents. Um, I went, I talked to you know the state about this. They have a Chapter 30B hotline and yeah, because if you're if you're selling property that's worth a lot more, they actually have a nice procedure for you. Something like this, they're just like, oh, make just make sure it's fair and competitive. You don't have to like publish a notice in the so newspaper. So we 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 do. So yeah, I'll okay. put one in the recorder. But I thought because this is Conway itself, that it you know we're close enough to the deadline for the currents that this could show up for July first, and I'll put it on the website. So um, she and I are proposing the date of Tuesday, July eleventh that bids would have to be in to her by 4 p.m. because she has a, a nice time date stamp thing. And, you know, and then we could be here to open the bids um, at four o'clock. That works for everybody. Works for me. So moved. Uh, uh, I mean, you don't have to be here for the okay. bid. Okay, all right, yeah. So yeah. Lori and I can handle it. Sounds that. great, but I will not be here for sure. <laughs> So I make a motion that we do that, just as set forth by Veroni. Let the explanation. <laughs> I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> um, the town administrator update we already talked about. The <clears throat> select board member comments and concerns we already talked about all that too. <laughs> the mail the. Rural, rural school aid letter that our colleagues from Deerfield really want us to sign that. Um, Do they want us to sign theirs? No, like, not theirs. Right? They, we want, they want us to sign so, our. To write uh, in it, yeah. And it, <laughs> I tried to explain to them that it was somewhat futile just because even that, the definition of rural schools in those bills, we're, we're, we don't really fit that. We're not really rural enough. Um, Mohawk fits it, but not really us. A little bit. Like, we're the part, we're the town that fits it of the four towns. Mm -hmm. um, so a little bit of it does, but yeah, it's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt. So um, I'm gonna make a motion that we sign the rural school aid letter, but first it has to be prepared. We're gonna have to go into the office to sign it during this week. So, um, the Girl Scout recognition, they think that we're a good town. Is there a second? Uh, yeah. second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, and we have, so we wanted to talk about what everybody's schedule was for summer meetings before we sort of put, like, schedule our next meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how far out you want to go. I'm, I'm away July 8th to the 22nd, so um, okay, so for no meetings over that period. But I could, I could definitely do Okay, so July 8th through the 22nd? Is when I'm at, yeah. Okay. Wow, so I'll be coming back and you'll be going away. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll still be, I'll be available to be reachable. I don't think it matters for my dates, but let me just check. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, I am out July 24th through the 27th. I have no plans <laughs> for anything vacation-wise. And I'm out from June 25th through July 5th. So June 20th sounds like a winner for the next mm -hmm. meeting. Yes. yes. Um, and then 
like a week after or two weeks after that and then that'll we'll take a break for a yeah two weeks after that is the third july 3rd it, it is a warrant week i will not be here but it should probably be a very quick one because <coughs> yeah it's just a yeah, yeah. Will keep us in well can we, we, yeah. we can't go two whole weeks without signing those warrants yeah. that's bad yeah. okay that's, bad. that's fine so, um, yeah. so um next meeting june 20th here and uh, with that, we'll move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good.